guys, that were starter Pokemon. And the only information we get to choose them is their Pokedex entries. After doing this for six different rounds, Arbus and I are going to battle and see who is the champion. All right, let's see what my three Pokedex entries are on the left. I have obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. Okay, in the middle, I have after birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. Powerfully sprays foam from its mouth? What Pokemon sprays foam? On the right, I have it can go for days without eating a single morsel. What is a morsel? In the bulb on its back, it stores energy. Oh, wait. Arpus. The bulb on the, its back. The bulb on its back? I think that this is a Charmander. I think that this is a Squirtle. And I think that this is a Blurbisher. Oh, the back hardens into a shell. I mean, that does kind of sound like a Squirtle. I am going with the true best generation one starter of all time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bulbasaur! What? Let's see if I was right in three, two, one. Oh, yes, it is. Let's go. Well, you got yourself a nice and powerful Bulbasaur. I am proud of you, Mr. Sire. That's a great you, Pokemon. Thank you. He's adorable. But I'm going to be looking closely at these entries for anything with fire. So let's see. It uses its four powerful arms to pin the limbs of its foe and throws the victim over the horizon. Oh boy, that sounds really strong. Arpus, you should not pick that one. Don't pick, please don't pick that one, please. In the middle, extremely powerful, they can dig through even the hardest ground to a depth of over 60 miles. Whoa, that is so deep. What the heck? It's agile scales, sheer cliffs to, uh, to live atop craggy mountains. It's fire it puts out when it sleeps. Wait! Dang it. Oh, no. It's fire is put out when it sleeps. Interesting. I'm thinking maybe something like Torkoal or like Camera. I don't know. It does have scales, bro. I don't Look, know. Look, it has scales. In the middle, I'm thinking Excadrill. Ooh, I like that. And on the far right, something that throws its enemies into the horizon. I'm going to say like Machamp. Yeah, it's got to be Machamp. It has to be. Although I would love the fire. I'm going to pick the red door. We're going to lock it in, hoping it's a Machamp. Oh, okay. I think you might have made a big mistake, dude. I definitely went away with this door. A big mistake. A big mistake. I don't think so, Mr. Cyrus, because we're going to get a nice and powerful Machamp. Show me. Oh, oh, it's a dunk trio in the middle. Okay, you did get Let's my chance. Let's go. Uh, on the left, I have this creature resembles a mysterious Pokemon that, according to Paranormal Ma a Paranormal Magazine, has lived since ancient times. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. I know what that is. Arpus, do you know? I mean, I've played a Pokemon game recently where a paranormal magazine. I don't know. I don't, it's got to be a ghost type of some sort. I don't know. I, don't I just know. muted my mic. That is an ancient paradox Pokemon, and he's about to pass on it. There's no way. Various pheromones to make the grubs in its body do its bidding while fighting foes. For some reason, I think it's got to be like a moon gush, maybe, because that thing like has effect spore, I think. Ooh, or maybe like Parasect or something like that. Sheesh, I, these are tough. Guys, if you know what these are, comment down below <laughs> because I am getting stomped. On the right, we have if its rage peaks, it becomes so hot that anything that it touches will instantly go up in flames. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Darmanitan. It's a Darmanitan. I'm, I'm muted. The hottest Pokemon in the entire game. I think it can get up to temperatures of like 18,000 degrees. So I'm thinking this could be Macargo. Because I already have a grass type Pokemon, I think it only makes sense to try to get myself a fire type Pokemon, which I'm assuming this one is. And I don't want another grass type. So I'm locking in the fire. Hopefully the fire type on You're the You're locking right. in the red door. You're locking yeah. in the red door. Let's see what Can that right Can I tell right you what I think is. it is? Can I sure. tell you what I think it is? Yeah, yeah. Well, it does sound like many things. It also sounds like an ancient paradox Pokemon. And also this sounds like Darmanitan. Let's see what I got in three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> Typhlo! Yo, dude, I have two starter Pokemon Ty in a random starter Pokemon video. That's crazy. On the left, though, I've got myself. It has a violent disposition and stabs foes with its horn, which oozes poison upon impact. I mean, that could be a lot of poison Pokemon. In the middle, its brain can outperform a supercomputer. Its intelligence quotient is said to be 
5,000? I know it. I know what that one is. Guys, it's I'm muted right now. And it's Alakazam. 100 million percent. Like I would bet my all of my money on it. Um, when storing thermal energy in its body, its temperature could soar to over 1,600 degrees. I don't think it's a fire type. I weirdly think it's a Bax Caliber. What? I don't know. This is tough. I don't really want a poison type. I kind of want to go with the smart Pokemon. I'm going to go with the genius thinking it's Porygon Z. So let's see. If it's an Alakazam, drop that door. I mean, it is the best. It's the best option easily. It shatters drift ice with its strong tusks. Its thick layer of blubber repels enemy attacks. I think that it's probably Mammo Shrine because it has tusks and has thick blubber. In the middle we have, it sleeps at the bottom of a lake. Its spirit is said to leave its body to fly on the lake's surface. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds pretty legendary slash mythical to me. On the right we have, its <laughs> cell structure is similar to water molecules, it will melt away and become invisible in water. I mean, that sounds kind of lame. I, for some reason, some weird reason, I feel like it could be like a Manaphy or like a Fion. We're in the middle though, we have a Pokemon that sleeps at the bottom of like Arpus. I, do you know what Pokemon sleeps at the bottom of an ocean? That would be one of my favorite legendaries, I do Rugia, believe. <laughs> yes. I don't know if that's Lugia, but it's so similar to a Lugia's Pokedex as far as I know. And so if it's not a Lugia, I feel like it's gotta be something that's pretty similar to Lugia. And for those reasons, I'm locking in that middle door. All right, let's see what I got in three, two, one. Ooh, a Mesprit. Okay. With nerves of steel, nothing can perturb. It is more agile and active than it appears. Okay. The long tongue, it's always, <laughs> wait, it's long tongue is always soggy with slobber. The saliva contains a solvent that causes numbness. Ooh, is that a heat more? What? No way. It's got to be licky tongue. Licky licky. And on the right, although it's alien to this world and it's danger and danger here, it is apparently a common organism in the world where it normally lives. I think this has to be an ultra beast. No. 100%. And no. with that in mind, I am choosing the red no. door. I mean, come on. That is too easy to not get. Gosh, I'm really hoping it. it is actually an ultra beast. So let's see. Three. Two, one. <laughs> oh, Woo! Harpus, every time I feel like I get a good Pokemon, then you go get a good Pokemon, and it makes oh, me flying. not have fun. Wow. He's flying. On the left, I have often found in the forest eating. That's it. I don't care. Not, not picking a forest Pokemon. In the middle, we have it approaches enemies at the speed of lightning. Whoa. Then tears through them limb from limb with its sharp claws. What wow. the? Wow. That is electric. I love that. On the right, we have if anyone dares to grab its hilt, it unwraps a blue cloth around that person's arm oh, and I know drains that, that I know person's it. life energy completely come on you know that you know that i don't know what that is i mean i understand the description i can't believe it's a hone edge oh my god is this the evolution yeah no i'm not getting it but when i do get into the middle one the middle one sounds epic i think it could be a zero aura that is the first thing that popped in my head i'm not gonna lie to you what i will do is lock in that middle door please show me a zero aura in don't three, be don't be don't two, be don't be one bang baby that is what I'm talking about. Oh, and look at this stupid Weedle. I saw I saw yeah, Forest, yeah, and I was like, nah, dude, nah, I'm that. out, I'm out. There's no good Pokemon <laughs> that has a Pokedex to entry that says it's in the forest. Blue Door. Within dense forests, no, it has a mystical power, but doesn't recall that it has used them. I mean, hey, it seemed to work out pretty well. Oh, nice, dude, nice whip. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> is it Calyrex? Ooh. Don't know, don't care. Next. It can clearly see through walls. What Pokemon? Well, it's got to be a ghost type. What Pokemon has lost young? I don't know, man. This is tough. Let me actually read this one. I might be crazy, but I think there's more than one Zarude. What? I'm going to pick it. You're locking I'm it I'm picking in? it. Blue door. Blue door. <laughs> and I'm going to so, hope that it's that's Zarude. That's terrible. Zarude lives in a jungle, Tommy, not a forest. <laughs> there's no way that's Zarude. Not a chance. Well, let's see what it is. Three, two, one. Hey! Oh, that's so ah, let's go! That's so embarrassing. <laughs>
Arpus, you gotta stop. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. stop. What? Every time Wait, I get what? something Just good, knowing, you get something good. Knowing and it makes the answer? Me feel bad. Okay, my first entry this round is its entire body is made up of a single organ that generates el that generates electrical energy. Whoa. Single organ? I literally don't know what that even means. A single I mean, I know what a, a single organ would be, but how does a Pokemon only have one organ? How does that Whoa, well, dude. If this blue one's confusing, I think the green door is going to be a little more confusing. I got this. I got this. I got this. Watch my big brain go to work. When viewed through a microscope, this Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. Like, I've never seen a Pokedex entry so obscure before. It's so random. Like, who? it has nothing to do with the Pokemon. You still have a third door. I know, but I, I, I feel like I need to crack the code of Enigma, and I can't. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. All right, I'll just move on to the next one. It flies in the ozone layer way up in the sky until recently no one has ever seen it. I like that one. See, that Shut one sounds up. good to me. Shut up. That Shut sounds up. like a Rayquaza to me. I'm 90% sure that's a Rayquaza, so I'm going to lock in that right door, but I cannot even begin to explain how confused I am by this middle door. Let's see if I got a Rayquaza in three, two, one. Bang, baby! Let's go! Rayquaza is on Wait. the team. And what the heck? We have a Mew, Mew and a Regieleki. Mew has short, fine, delicate hair. I'm not gonna lie. Rayquaza is a pretty good Pokemon. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, I gotta get something even better. Said to have expanded the lands by evaporating water with raging heat. Uh, I think I know what this one is. We're gonna move on, though. It has the power to travel across time, but it is said to peer only in peaceful Let's times. move on to the next one. That one doesn't sound that good either. An alien virus that fell to Earth on a meteor underwent a DNA mutation to become this Pokemon. I think you should double it and give it to the next person. On the left, this is Deoxys. In the middle, this is a Celebi. And on the right, we have a Groudon. And with that being the case, I'm gonna lock in the red door, hoping for the Groudon. Hey, that would be a pretty good Pokemon to go against Rayquaza. Let's see though in three, two, one. I'm a little smart, you know, Yeah, just a little. Arpus, this round will complete our teams and um, I, I need something good here because you keep on getting something really good every time I get something really good and I need you to stop doing that. It's yeah, not, you do good. need something really good here. I'll be honest with you because your team is not looking too clean. The, honestly, I'm only slacking with my Blairbasaur. That's really it. Every, everything else I'm okay with. So let's see if we can get something sick. That'll evolve, right? Yeah, I'll evolve it. Yeah, I'll, all right, yeah, I'll evolve it. I like that. I like where your head's at. All right, the first door says, with wings that gleam, like polished steel, it commands the heavens with authority. It commands the heavens? Great heavens! That sounds awesome! Something that can command the heavens, that is godly. That is oh, that is more than godly because it commands the gods, right? All right? In the middle, I have, it is said that the shimmering patterns on its scale hypnotize those who gaze upon them. Scales, a dragon type Pokemon. It hypnotizes them. Dragon psychic Pokemon. I think this could be... You're gonna call me crazy. You're gonna call me a psycho. I think it could be a fusion Pokemon. I think it could be Tyrosma. Ooh. The brand new... The brand new legendary uh, fusion Pokemon. They don't even sound like Pokemon. They sound way more powerful. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, actually, now let's look at the first one again. With wings that gleam like polished steel, it commands the heavens with authority. I think that Zacius has wings. And it's a steel type. Ah, I was thinking Corvizard. On the right, we have legend has it that it traverses realms. It's flaming mane illuminating the darkness. Flaming mane. Flaming mane. That sounds like a paradox, Mon. Flaming mane. Man, if that is also a fusion Pokemon, I don't know. Traverses realm. Dude, I don't know what that is. I literally don't know. <gasps> I know what it is. I know what this one is. I'll say it after you lock it. After you lock it, I'll say it. I'm locking in this first door because I think any Pokemon that can command the heavens is like, that's got to be insanely strong. So I'm locking in this uh, first door. Yeah, that's a pretty good guess. But I think this red door is surely Incineroar Unbound. Ooh, yeah. That ha that, that's perfect, like right? It has that. to be. Well, let's see what I locked in in three Two, one. Oh, Whoa, you were it wasn't right, it correct, is. but yeah, it was Corvazard. Okay, not bad. Woo, Mr. Cyrude. I mean, it appears I've got some fusion Pokemon to choose from, but we gotta read these doors. With wings as sharp as blades, it cuts through the sky with unmatched grace. Whoa. 
Hey, Corvizard. It cuts through the sky. Um, oh. I, I know what that one is. I, I'm going to gap. I know what that is. You do. I you do. do know what that is. And with a hole like shell and sails for fins, it navigates the ocean depths with unparalleled grace. What is hole like? What does that mean? What is a hole like shell? We have unparalleled grace and unmatched grace. This is very interesting. This ghostly entity is said to haunt the darkest corners of the night. Okay, this is just Adam. But I'm gonna say the one that sticks out to me the most is Lunara. In the middle though, this sounds like Blast Ogre. My first guess would be Corvizard, because it's a steel type and it flies. Fortunately, um, we know what happened with that. It's a Talaris, 100%. I'm picking the Blast Ogre in the middle. That green door, baby. Show me the moolah, drop them doors. Oh, you were wrong on all of them, bro. And I did think that this was a Raylian. I didn't want to say anything, but I was like, dude, I think that's a Raylian. Wrong. Let's go. <laughs> and it is time. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, he switches, though. What, were you expecting me to switch? I was expecting you to switch. <laughs> Who stays in there? You would just be uh, dead. Uh, uh. Oh, daddy goes to the baseball. Uh oh. What are you going to do? Lunge. Oh. Lower that attack. My attack was lower. Lower that attack. Oh, no. Get low. He will petal dance. Yes. Okay. No, you were supposed wow. to kill me. Wait, Blurbasaur's actually going crazy. You switch? Oh my gosh, Blurbasaur. I'm not letting him die. I'm not letting that guy die. Dude, he's too Blurbasaur's valuable. Blurbasaur's going crazy. He's, he's almost too valuable eliminated to the like squad. three Pokemon on his own, and I just keep clicking the same move. <laughs> you turn. Oh, and you go into your Groudon. Your best Pokemon already? My best Pokemon? I don't know if this is my best Pokemon. Truthfully. He for sure is your best Pokemon. Let's be Truthfully, honest. Truthfully, I don't know. Goes back into your Alakazam. Oh, he's just spamming Calm Mind. He's just <laughs> spamming Calm Mind. <laughs> I actually forget what this does. Disable my psychic, but I use charm. Oh, your attack <laughs> okay. was decreased. Dang it, I thought it decreased your special attack. All right, come on, Alakazam. Aha! Hit it. Come on, no way. No. Oh, no, I let's failed. Let's go. <laughs> but I did like Ooh. nothing still. Oh, let's go. I mean, that's, that's basically like a one hit KO. Okay, Zerora, I really need you to outspeed here. I would really need you to outspeed. Please be faster than Alakazam. I think you Ooh. are. It's, it should be pretty close, but Zerora is one of the fastest Pokemon. Boom! Plasma fists. I'm not a fan of that. What's wrong with this? Ah, oh, that did nothing. Wow. Lava Plume lets me live because you probably expected me to switch. <laughs> you are making the craziest plays. Our if you want to let it die, that's fine. You are <laughs> getting. You are just getting out strategized. Corvizard yes, is sir. here. Corvizard, do what you do best. Seek and destroy. Oh, yes. the Sky Forge Surge oh, does look, a lot. Oh, power. I didn't even know Corvizard has solar power. No. Draco Meteor Mist. Ooh, an Earthquake does a lot. Boom. Oh, it yes. doesn't kill. How does that not Del kill? Terra holds on. It's okay because we have this boy. Interesting here. Interesting. Typhlosion. I really hope that this shows if it doesn't kill. Oh, you switch. Oh, that's perfect for me. Yes. Flame charge. Get the speed boost. <laughs> A fast typhlosion. Yes. And now I can just click this. Eruption. Oh, no way. That's a great yes! play. Oh, no. Eruption. The flame charge, I think, took Erupt it home all for Mr. Cyrus. Yes! He's erupting. I want you to know, Flame Charge would not have killed. Let's go! He makes three terrible plays and still wins the battle. That's insane. GG. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to leave a like and click right here to watch another awesome video.